Hello and welcome to another new video on Crick Tracker. The world of cricket is coming on action quick and fast and that is why keeping a tab on all the news from the world of cricket would be difficult for you. So here I am bringing towards you guys all the recent developments from the world of cricket. In the news today we have England's tour of India confirmed. We'll move ahead and have a look at a new face in the ICC and we'll have a look at what has the BCCI got to request from Cricket Australia before finally moving to the master blasters choice of India's tour of Australia in the slot of opener. So stick around to the end of the video and find out all the relevant details. The men in blue are currently preparing for the all-important series against Australia and this tour has come after 300 days of international inactivity. But the question is that this tour is not being played in India and when would India play a tour in home? And we have the answers with us after the BCCI president Saurav Ganguly has confirmed that England is all set to tour India next year for a full-fledged tour. Expressing his concerns ahead of the series, Saurav Ganguly also stated that a lot of people are talking about a second wave of COVID and that is why we will all have to be very vigilant and circumspect. But for now, the good news is that England is coming for a full tour in India earlier next year and we will get some action back in India as well. The injury concerns of Rohit Sharma and Ishan Sharma are clearly giving us no respite and not just the fans but even the BCCI is slightly tensed now. Both the players started to face some fitness issues in during the Indian T20 league and are currently practicing and training at the National Cricket Academy at Bangalore. But the strict quarantine rules of Australia means that they will have to in all probability miss the first couple of tests. As per the current rule, in Australia, any person who is travelling has to mandatorily self-isolate themselves for a period of 14 days and it is this rule which is causing a trouble to both these players who are expected to join the Indian squad later. In the absence of Virat Kohli, if indeed these two players miss out, it is definitely going to hurt India and it is because of this that the BCCI has requested Cricket Australia to provide some relaxation in the quarantine schedule and the protocols to both these players. Whether or not they would get is something that only time would tell. Auckland-based commercial lawyer Greg Barclay has taken over as the new ICC chairman and he is all set to replace Imran Khwaja who was the acting chief of the organisation ever since the tenure of Shashank Manohar came to an end in July. Barclay happens to be also the director of New Zealand cricket since 2012 and for taking over this role he will have to step aside from the position of being the director of New Zealand cricket. Given his business instincts, it would be interesting to see how he tackles and approaches cricket and management in these times of COVID-19. Speaking ahead of the iconic Border Gavaskar trophy, the master blaster Sachin Tendulkar himself has given the opinion on who should the ideal choice of India for the opening slot be when the test series arrives. He has said that Mayank Agrawal is definitely going to pick himself and is a confirmed starter given his phenomenal record against Australia and that he also came to light last year playing against the Aussies. Ever since then, he has slapped three centuries and has averaged in excess of 57 with the bat and is also inching closer towards the 1000 run mark in test cricket. Speaking about the second choice, Tendulkar stated that it should be Rohit Sharma but in case of his unavailability it would be KL Rahul or Prithvi Shaw who would be seen alongside Mayank Agrawal. Who do you think should be the ideal choice for the opening slot? Let us know in the comments. So that's all ladies and gentlemen from the world of cricket. I am Pratya Tiwari and it's time for me to take a leave. If you like this video, do hit the like button and share the video as much as you can. If you have yet not subscribed to the channel of Crit Tracker, you're missing out on a lot. So do that immediately. Hit the bell button so that you keep on getting many such updates from us in time. I'll move and quickly meet you guys in the next one. Thank you.